thank you very much uh, once again for watching this channel and the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar will soon be entering into the knockout stages. But after two rounds of group games so far, here are some of the most fascinating stories that have made social media interesting. This picture of Senegalese children on their knees watching their team uh, in the match against Qatar has been roundly shared on social media with a lot of netizens saying the World Cup means a lot to kids even than adults judging from how keen they are on the game and kneeling for nearly 90 minutes on the streets to watch their national team play in Qatar. Qatar may have spent over 3 billion in organizing this World Cup, but it took one Montari Mohammed, who was born and bred in Ghana, to score their first World Cup goal. The image of the boy, who schooled at Tia Media Secondary School in Kumase, has gone round social media, especially in Ghana, with a lot of people overwhelmingly commending the player for his decision to play for Qatar, which has granted him the opportunity to feature at the World Cup and score the country's first World Cup goal. Cameroon and Switzerland faced off in the group game of the World Cup, but this picture of Bril Mbolo refusing to celebrate after scoring against Cameroon is one that has attracted netizens around the world. Mbolo was born in Cameroon but moved to Switzerland at the age of two. His decision not to celebrate has attracted a wide range of opinions with some suggesting that he could have decided to celebrate but Mbolo understands what Cameroon means to him and coincidentally his dad was watching the game from Cameroon. It's become a norm for the Japanese fans and their players to clean the stadium and dressing room after every football game and especially at the World Cup, this practice has been widely recognized and shared. After their game against Germany, where the Japanese emerged victorious, the Japanese players cleaned the dressing room and also uh, left it in a very sane state. Similarly to their fans who cleaned the stands and left it in a very, very pristine stage like they met before. One Japanese fan said, this has become part of us and our culture. It is something that we were taught in schools and from our childhood. We never leave a place dirtier than we met it. And this is generally an attitude of all Japanese. They have roundly courted adulation for this attitude and their general sense of civility. One of the most interesting games at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar has been the one between Saudi Arabia and Argentina. Lionel Messi's Argentina entered the tournament on a 36-match unbeaten streak and were expected to trounce Saudi Arabia, who were one of the least rated teams coming into the tournament. But the Saudi Arabians, even after conceding the first goal, came back stronger to win the match by 2-1. But this picture of the Saudi Arabian defender Yasser Al Sharani, who was not unconscious after being kneed by his own goalkeeper, reportedly suffered a broken jaw, broken facial bones, and internal bleeding. Reports say the king of Saudi Arabia asked for him to be flown in a private jet to an European country for an emergency surgery. The picture of him with his face down and bloodied has been shared widely across social media with some expressing love and saying the passion and patriotism of the defender has seen the Saudi Arabians come atop in the game.
One of the most fiercely contested matches at the FIFA World Cup in Qatar has been the game between Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal and the Black Stars of Ghana. The ferocious nature of the game meant the Portuguese emerged 3-2 victorious. But understanding how important these three points meant for them, Cristiano Ronaldo hosted the entire team at a dinner, explaining how important that victory was for them, and had already suggested before the game that the match against Ghana would be the most difficult for the Portuguese, and surely it lived up to the billing. And Ronaldo hosting the team in a dinner is a picture that has attracted a wide range of admiration among social media users. You may have seen this image of a player shedding tears on the field of play. It is reported that this Uruguayan defender, Sebastian Sosa, broke down in tears during warm-up before their game versus South Korea. Sosa never believed that his dream of playing at the World Cup would materialize, especially as he is 36 years. But the tears was also because his mother had died days before the World Cup and could not hide his emotions when he took to the field against South Korea. The biggest shock of the World Cup so far has been Saudi Arabia defeating Argentina. The king has said, as reported, regardless of the results in their next two games, each player in the team will receive the latest version of Rolls Royce for their incredible feats of victory against Lionel Messi's Argentina. One of the top strikers in the world of football is incontestably Robert Lewandowski. The Polish striker had scored over 600 career goals coming into this World Cup, but was without a World Cup goal. The Barcelona striker fired blank in the first game and received a lot of criticisms from fans for not being able to score a World Cup goal. After scoring his first World Cup goal against Saudi Arabia, Robert Lewandowski broke down in tears with his face down on the pitch, expressing how much it means to finally have his name inscripted among the scorers at the World Cup. One of the greatest players ever to emerge from Africa is undoubtedly George Weah. Weah, now president of Liberia, is also the only African to have won the Ballon d'Or. Despite his incredible achievements, Weah never featured at the World Cup. His son, Timothy Weah, however, has been able to achieve what his dad never did playing at the World Cup. Young Timothy is rather not playing for Liberia, but United States of America. In their game against Wales, Timothy Weah mimicked his dad's popular open arm celebration when he scored against the Welsh. And a picture of him celebrating has gone viral on social media with opinions divided as to why the president of a country will have his son defending the colors of another country. Images of the Liberian president Having dinner with his son after that incredible display has also been widely shared across social media. Keep watching this channel as we come your way with more interesting content.